Fin Whale, from Wikipedia the Free Encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The fin whale, also called the finback whale, or razorback, or common rorqual, is a marine mammal belonging to the suborder of baleen whales. It is the second largest whale and the second largest living animal after the blue whale, growing to nearly 27 meters, or 88 feet long. Long and slender, the fin whale's body is brownish-gray with a paler underside. There are at least two distinct subspecies, the northern fin whale of the North Atlantic and the larger Antarctic fin whale of the Southern Ocean. It is found in all the world's major oceans, from polar to tropical waters. It is absent only from the waters close to the ice pack at both the North and South Poles and relatively small areas of water away from the open ocean. The highest population density occurs in temperate and cool waters. Its food consists of small schooling fish, squid, crustaceans, including mycids and krill. Like all other large whales, the fin whale was heavily hunted during the 20th century and is an endangered species. The International Whaling Commission, IWC, has issued a moratorium on commercial hunting of this whale, although Iceland and Japan have announced intentions to resume hunting, the latter country stating it will kill a quota of 50 whales for the 2008 season. Collisions with ships and noise from human activity are also significant threats to the recovery of the species. Taxonomy the fin whale has long been known to taxonomists, first described by Frederick Martins in 1675 and then again by Paul Dudley in 1725. These descriptions were used as a basis of Carolus Linnaeus's Balaena Physalis, 1758. The Comte de Lissipede reclassified it as Balaenoptera Physalis early in the 19th century. The specific name comes from the Greek Physa, meaning blows. Fin whales are rorquals, family Balaenopteridae. A family that includes the humpback whale, the blue whale, the brids whale, and the sea whale, and the mink whale. The family Balaenopteridae diverged from the other families of the suborder Mysticity as long ago as the Middle Miocene. However, it is not known when the members of these families diverged from each other. Hybridization between the blue whale and the fin whale is known to occur at least occasionally in the North Atlantic and in the North Pacific. As of 2006, there are two named subspecies, each with distinct physical features and vocalizations. Linnaeus 1758, or northern fin whale, is found in the North Atlantic, and B. P. Quay, Fisher 1829, or Antarctic fin whale, is found in the Southern Ocean. Most experts consider the fin whales of the North Pacific to be a third unnamed, unnamed subspecies. On a global scale, the three groups rarely mix, if at all. Description and Behavior The fin whale is usually distinguished by its great length and slender build. The average size of males and females is about 19 and 20 meters, 62 and 66 feet, respectively. Subspecies in the northern hemisphere are known to reach lengths of up to 24 meters, or 79 feet, and the Antarctic subspecies reaches lengths of up to 26.8 meters, or 88 feet. A full-sized adult has never been weighed, but calculations suggest that a 25-meter, 82-foot animal could weigh as much as 70,000 kilograms, or 154,000 pounds. Full physical maturity is not attained until between 25 and 30 years, although fin whales have been known to live to 94 years of age. A newborn fin whale measures about 6.5 meters, 21 feet, in length, and weighs approximately 1,800 kilograms, or 4,000 pounds. The animal's large size is an identification, and it is usually only confused with the blue whale, the sea whale, or in warmer waters, brids whale. The fin whale has a brownish gray top and sides and a whitish underside. It has a pointed snout, paired blowholes, and a broad, flat rostrum. Two lighter colored chevrons begin midline behind the blowholes and slant down the sides toward the tail on a diagonal upward to the dorsal fin, sometimes recurving forward on the back. It has a large white patch on the right side of the lower jaw, while the left side of the jaw is gray or black. This type of asymmetry can be seen occasionally in mink whales, but the fin whale's asymmetry is universal and thus is unique among 
Cetaceans and is one of the keys to making a full identification. It was hypothesized to have evolved because the whale swims on its right side when surface lunging, and it often circles to the right while at the surface above a prey patch. However, the whales just as often circle to the left. There is no accepted hypothesis to explain the asymmetry. The whale has a series of 56 to 100 pleats, or grooves, along the bottom of the body that run from the tip of the chin to the navel that allow the throat area to expand greatly during feeding. It has a curved, prominent 60-centimeter dorsal fin, about three-quarters of the way along its back. Its flippers are small and tapered, and its tail is wide, pointed at the tip, and notched in the center. When the whale surfaces, the dorsal fin is visible soon after the sprout. The spout is vertical and narrow and can reach heights of 6 meters. The whale will blow one to seven times on each visit to the surface, staying close to the surface for about one and a half minutes each time. The tail remains submerged during the surfacing sequence. It then dives to depths of up to 250 meters, each dive lasting between 10 and 15 minutes. Fin whales have been known to leap completely out of the water. Life History Mating occurs in temperate, low-latitude seas during the winter, and the gestation period is 11 months to one year. A newborn weans from its mother at 6 or 7 months of age when it is 11 or 12 meters in length, and the calf follows the mother to the winter feeding ground. Females reproduce every 2 to 3 years, with as many as 6 photuses being reported, but single births are far more common. Females reach sexual maturity at between 3 and 12 years of age. Feeding The fin whale is a filter feeder, feeding on small schooling fish, squid, and crustaceans including mycids and krill. It feeds by opening its jaws while swimming at a relatively high speed, 11 km per hour in one study, which causes it to engulf up to 70 cubic meters of water in one gulp. It then closes its jaws and pushes the water back out of its mouth through its baleen, which allows the water to leave while trapping the prey. An, odd, an adult has between 262 and 473 baleen plates on each side of the mouth. Each plate is made of keratin that frays out into fine hairs on the ends inside the mouth near the tongue. Each plate can measure up to 76 centimeters in length and 30 centimeters in width. The whale routinely dives to depths of more than 200 meters where it ex executes an average of four lunges, where it feeds on aggregations of krill. Each gulp provides the whale with approximately 10 kilograms of krill. One whale can consume up to 1,800 kilograms of food a day, leading scientists to conclude that the whale spends about three hours of each feeding to meet its energy requirements, roughly the same as humans. If the prey patches aren't dense enough or located too deep in the water, the whale has to spend a larger portion of its day searching for food. Fin whales have also been observed circling schools of fish at high speed, compacting the school into a tight ball, then turning on its side before engulfing the fish. Behavior The fin whale is one of the fastest cetaceans and can sustain speeds of 37 km per hour, and bursts in excess of 40 km per hour have been recorded, earning the fin whale the nickname the Greyhound of the Deep. Fin whales are more gregarious than other rorquals and often live in groups of 6 to 10 individuals, although on the feeding grounds aggregations of up to 100 animals may be observed. Vocalizations Like other whales, the male fin whale has been observed to take long, loud, low-frequency sounds. The vocalizations of blue and fin whales are the lowest known sounds made by any animal. Most sounds are frequency modulated, downswept infrasonic pulses from 16 to 40 hertz frequency. The range of sounds that most humans can hear falls between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz. Each sound lasts between 1 and 2 seconds, and various combinations of sounds occur in pattern sequences lasting 17, 7 to 15 minutes each. These sequences are then repeated in bouts lasting up to many days. The vocal sequences have source levels of up to 184 to 186 decibels relative to 1 micropascal at a reference distance of 1 meter and can be detected hundreds of miles from their source. When fin whale sounds were first recorded, researchers did not realize that these unusually loud, long, pure, and regular sounds were being made by whales. 
They first investigated the possibilities that the sounds were due to equipment malfunction, geophysical phenomena, or part of a Soviet Union scheme for detecting enemy submarines. Eventually, biologists demonstrated that the sounds were the vocalizations of fin whales. Direct association of these vocalizations with the reductive season for the species and that only males make the sounds point to these vocalizations as possible reproductive displays. Over the past 100 years, the dramatic increase in ocean noise from shipping and naval activity may have slowed the recovery of the fin whale population by impeding communications between males and sexually receptive females. Habitat and Migration like many of the large rorquals, the fin whale is a cosmopolitan species. It is found in all the world's major oceans and in waters ranging from the polar to the tropical. It is absent only from the waters close to the ice pack at both, both the north and south extremities and relatively small areas of water away from the large oceans, such as the Red Sea, the Persian Gulf, the eastern part of the Mediterranean, and the Baltic Sea. The highest population density occurs in temperate and cool waters. It is densely populated in the hottest equatorial regions. It prefers deep waters beyond the continental shelf to, to shallow waters. The North Atlantic fin whale has an extensive distribution occur occurring from the Gulf of Mexico and Mediterranean Sea northward to the edges of the Arctic ice pack. In general, fin whales are more common north of approximately 30 degrees north latitude, but considerable confusion arises about their currents south of 30 degrees north latitude because of the difficulty in distinguishing fin whales from brids whales. Extensive ship surveys have led researchers to conclude that the summer feeding range of fin whales in the western North Atlantic was mainly between 41 degrees 20 minutes north and 51 degrees north from shore seaward to the 1,000 fathom contour. Summer distribution of fin whales in the North Pacific is the immediate offshore waters from central Baya, California to Japan, and as far north as the Chu Chuchi Sea bordering the Arctic Ocean. They occur in high densities in the northern Gulf of Alaska and southeastern Bering Sea between May and October, with some movement through the Aleutian uh, passes into and out of the Bering Sea. Several whales tagged between November and January off Southern California were killed in the summer off Central California, Oregon, British Columbia, and in the Gulf of Alaska. Fin whales have been observed feeding in Hawaiian waters in mid-May, and several winter sightings have been made there. Some re researchers have suggested that the whales migrate into Hawaiian waters primarily in the autumn and winter. Although fin whales are certainly migratory, moving seasonally in and out of high la latitude feeding areas, the overall migration pattern is not well understood. Acoustic readings from passive listening hydrophone arrays indicate a southward migration of the North Atlantic fin whales occurs in the autumn from the Labrador Newfoundland region, south past Bermuda, and into the West Indies. One or more populations of fin whales are thought to remain year-round in high latitudes, moving offshore but not southward in late autumn. In the Pacific, migration patterns are difficult to understand. Although some fin whales are apparently present in the Gulf of California year-round, there is a significant increase in the numbers of the winter and spring. Antarctic fin whales migrate seasonally from relatively high-latitude an Antarctic feeding grounds in the summer to low-latitude breeding and calving areas in the winter. The location of winter breeding areas is still unknown, since these whales tend to migrate in the open ocean, and thus exact locations have been difficult to determine. Abundance and Trends the lack of understanding of the migration pattern of the fin whale, combined with population surveys that are often contradictory, makes estimating the historical and current population levels of the whale difficult and contentious. Due to a long history of hunting this whale, pre-exploitation population levels are difficult or impossible to accurately determine, yet estimates are important to measure the rate of recovery of the species. North Atlantic in the North Atlantic, fin whales are defined by the International Whaling Commission to exist in one of seven discrete population zones, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland-Labrador, West Greenland, East Greenland-Iceland, North Norway, West Norway-Faroe Islands, and British Isles-Spain-Portugal. Results of mark and recapture surveys have indicated that some movement occurs across the boundaries of these population zones, suggesting that each zone is not entirely discrete and that some immigration emigrate and emigration does occur. 
It is estimated in 1995 that a total pre-exploitation population size of the fin whale in the entire North Atlantic ranged between 50,000 and 10,000 animals, but his research is criticized for not providing supporting data and an explanation of his reasoning. In 1977, D.E. Sargent suggested a primeval aggregate total of 30,000 to 50,000 fin whales for the North Atlantic. Of that number, about 8,000 to 9,000 would have resided in the Newfoundland and Nova Scotia areas, with whales summering in U.S. waters south of Nova Scotia, presumably not having been taken fully into an account. J.M. Brewick estimated that the exploitable, or above the legal size limit of 50 feet component of the Nova Scotia population was 1,500 to 1,600 animals in 1964, reduced only to about 325 in 1973. Two aerial surveys have been conducted in Canadian waters since the early 1970s, giving numbers of 79 to 926 whales on the eastern Newfoundland-Labrador shelf in August 1980, and a few hundred in the northern and central Gulf of St. Lawrence in August 1995-1996. Estimates of the number of fin whales in the waters off West Greenland in the summer range between 500 and 2,000, and in 1974, Jansgaard considered the whales... Uh, the fin whales off western Norway and the Faroe Islands to have been considerably depleted in post-war years, probably by over-exploitation. The population around Iceland appears to have fared much better, and in 1981 the population appeared to have undergone only a minor decline since the early 1960s. Surveys during the summers of 1987 and 1989 produced estimates in the order of 10,000 to 11,000 fin whales between East Greenland and Norway. This shows a substantial recovery when compared to a survey in 1976 showing an estimate of 6,900 whales, which was considered to be a slight decline since 1948 levels. Estimates of population levels in the British Islands, Spain, Portugal area in summer have ranged from 7,500 to more than 17,000. In total, the ag population level of the North Atlantic fin whale is estimated to be between 40,000 and 56,000 individuals. North Pacific the total historical North Pacific fin whale population has been estimated at 42,000 to 45,000 before the start of whaling. Of this, the population in the eastern portion of the North Pacific was estimated to be 25,000 to 27,000. By 1975, the population estimate had declined be to between 8,000 and 16,000. Surveys conducted in 1991, 1993, 1996, and 2001 produced estimates of between 1,600 and 3,200 fin whales off California and 280 to 380 fin whales off Oregon and Washington. The minimum estimate for the California-Oregon-Washington population, as defined in the U.S. Pacific Marine Mill Stock Assessments 2005, is about 2,500. Surveys near the Pribilof Islands in the Bering Sea indicated a substantial increase in the local abundance of fin whales between 1975 and 1978 and 1987 and 1989. In 1984, the entire North Pacific fin whale population was estimated to be at least uh, to be at less than 38 percent of its historic cap carrying capacity. Antarctica. Relatively little is known about the historical and current population levels of the Antarctic fin whale. The IWC officially estimates that the pre-whaling population of the fin whale in the southern hemisphere was 400,000 whales, and that the population in 1979 was 85,200. Both the current and historical estimates should be considered as poor estimates because the methodology and data used in the study are known to be flawed. Other estimates cite current population levels of no more than 5,000 whales and possibly as low as 2,000 to 3,000. As of 2006, there is no scientifically accepted estimate of current population or trends in abundance. Human Interaction In the 19th century, the fin whale was occasionally hunted by the sailing vessel whalers, but it was relatively safe because of its quick speed and the fact that it prefers the open sea. However, the introduction of steam-powered boats in the second half of that century and the harpoons that exploded on impact made it possible to kill and secure blue whales, fin whales, and sea whales on an industrial scale. As other whale species became overhunted, the whaling industry turned to the still-abundant fin whale as a substitute. It was primarily hunted for its blubber oil and baleen. Approximately 704,000 fin whales were caught in Antarctica. 
uh, whaling operations alone between 1904 and 1975. After the introduction of factory ships with stern slipways in 1925, the number of whales taken per year increased substantially. In 1937 alone, over 28,000 fin whales were taken. From 1953 to 1961, whaling of the species averaged around 25,000 per year. By 1962, say whale catches began to increase as fin whales became scarce. By 1974, fewer than 1,000 fin whales were being caught each year. The IWC prohibited the taking of fin whales from the Southern Hemisphere in 1976. In the North Pacific, a reported total of approximately 46,000 fin whales were killed by commercial whalers between 1947 and 1987. Acknowledgement that the Soviet Union engaged in the illegal killing of protected whale species in the North Pacific means that the reported catch data is incomplete. The fin whale was given full protection from commercial whaling by the IWC in the North Pacific in 1976 and in the North Atlantic in 1987, with the exception of small aboriginal catches and catches for research purposes. All populations worldwide, worldwide remain listed as endangered species by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the International Conservation Union Red List, and the fin whale is on Appendix 1 of CITES. The fin whale is hunted in the Northern Hemisphere in Greenland under the International Whaling Commission's procedure for, ara for aboriginal subsistence whaling. Meat and other products from whales killed in these hunts are widely marketed within the Greenland economy, but export is illegal. The IWC has set a quota of 19 fin whales per year for Greenland despite concern about uncertainty of current population levels. Iceland and Norway are not bound by the IWC's moratorium on commercial whaling because both countries filed objections to the moratorium. In October 2006, Iceland's fisheries ministry authorized the hunting of nine fin whales through August 2007. In the southern hemisphere, Japan has targeted fin whales in its Antarctic Special Permit whaling program for the 2005-2006 and 2006-2007 seasons at 10 whales killed per year. The proposal for 2007-2008 and the subsequent 12 seasons includes 50 fin whales per year. Collisions with ships are an additional major cause of fin whale mortality. In some areas, they represent a substantial portion of the strandings of large whales. Most lethal and serious injuries are caused by large, fast-moving ships over or near the continental shelf. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.